Do you remember way back in February of 2011 where I was broadcasting my gameplay live? Well, I'm not doing that for one particular reason. And it's not motive. I've got plenty of motive for doing it. My problem? Technical problems. Okay, listen closely. It's silence, right? That's what my problem is, at least with this particular program. So how was I getting it working before? That's where Virtual Dub came in. However, after every 15 to 20 minutes of after a reset or something, a forced reset, um, all of a sudden, uh, what happens is the sound plays at 90% true speed, and all of a sudden, lag comes in. Lag? Well, I'll ex demonstrate that. I'm going to press the down button. Ready? Go. Go. Go, go. It's instant, right? That's what I'm expecting. And it otherwise makes games like Sonic the Hedgehog, or Bubsy, and Super Monkey Ball, all those kinds of games that require swift time and fine motion control, all that works. They're completely playable. However, with the lag, guess what happens? Go. Go. Go, go. That's what happens. Notice the delay? They would, this is actually just a simulation, but it illustrates the point. But I've seen even worse than that. And that's the problem with Procaster, Livestream Procaster. That has that problem, except it's even... It's about as bad. Go. It's about like that. Although that was actually slightly long, but still. Either way, you get the pro point, right? It's okay. Well, there's no audio in this case, so you might be thinking, it's got to be the audio settings. So, I'll do just that. This is how you modify the settings and stuff. Okay, no problems here so far. Okay, but if I choose that, it turns into mute in because, well, null. There's nothing there. So instead, I need to select some audio source. In this case, it happens to be this. No problem there, supposedly. I'm using RCA cable, so yeah, I would use that one instead of this. Makes sense. So, I don't know exactly what this does, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Hit OK, wait, tick tock, tick tock. Okay, no problem there, right? Um, actually, there is a problem. There's no audio. There's no sound. Hmm. Okay, so you may be thinking that it's got to be something to do with my sound card or something. Okay, I'll prove that one wrong. Auto City, no problem there. Load something. Well, this is the song I'm currently involved with. In. Yeah, let's see. I like the part at the end. I'll just take this part right there. That's 71% true speed. You heard that one right. Yeah, you heard that one. I heard it nice and clear. And thus... I can definitely tell you that is not the problem. Even for such a screwy sample rate that's otherwise non-standard, still works perfectly fine. Here, I'm using a CD standard, perfectly normal, and yet... What's that I hear? It's silence. Hmm. So, okay, you may be thinking it's got to be the TV tuner itself. In my case, just so you know which one I have, it's the Avermedia AverTV Hybrid Volar Max, if I remember the exact phrase, but it's a lot of weird stuff in there. So you might be thinking, okay, it's got to be that that's the culprit. Okay, well, I'll close that program, and I'll start my TV tuner program. And that happens to be this. Hit this, I can start it up. You won't see anything because of overlay. I see it perfectly clear, but listen to this. The sound. Oh my. So it's not the TV tuner that's the problem. It's instead that program. It's got to be that program or some strange configuration in there. So why don't I just use this? Okay, do you see a visible stream image? I see it. But uh, virtual dub in the background here is not. All you see is a very, very dark magenta color. 
And with that, guess what? Nothing. There is no video signal here at all. Making it... Well, I get audio, but no video. Okay, well, with that other program, I get video, but no audio. Something is not adding up. So what about having this running, while well, at the same time I have this going? Well, device in use ain't gonna work. Sorry. So, there's got to be some other option to get that going. No matter what I do, there just doesn't seem to be anything that works. Okay, this is now running again, but guess what? It's back to silence. It's got to be something with this program. Either my TV tuner is not compatible with it, even though it shows up real nice, clearly right here. However, what the uh, problem is, well, got a random number generator, because that's pretty much what I'm left to. And if you're thinking it's sound settings, well, none of this applies. I've set it to, well, there's no option in here to choose the recording playback and stuff. I've got all of these. I've got microphone because right now it's the only way I can record my voice at the moment for this particular video. But no matter which one of these I use, that's what you'll hear. Silence. So, you have any ideas how to otherwise resolve this problem? Because it's the only thing stopping me from broadcasting my gameplay live. How would you like to see my wizard eventually be doing 2.7 billion damage in one hit? I'm getting there, slowly but surely, but I'm getting there.